guys, so welcome back. I am finally doing another haul after a year. Um, I wanted to show you the things that I've purchased over the past two months, I would have to say. It's mostly during the sale time, so a lot of these items, actually all the items are on sale. Um, and let's get to it because there's a lot of stuff. So the first things I wanted to show you were Topshop stuff. Um, so this one was the first one that I've got. And I bought this just because I've been going to weddings and just to not parties but clubs or going to be going to bachelorettes. And I figured I should just buy a dress just because when you're actually looking for a dress, it takes a really long time. So this is from Topshop and I really like the back of this a lot. I saw it online and I wasn't sh too sure of how I felt about it, but when I tried it on, I absolutely love it. I love the lacing and I know it's kind of hard to wear a bra with this, but I have worn um, a bra without the back and it's just something that you kind of stick on and it works perfectly fine. So I absolutely love this. It actually looks a lot nicer on and I got the petite version just because I'm shorter and it just looks so much better and I think it's worth it. So this one was originally $95 and I got it for $40. Although right now on their website, they still have my size and it's $30 right now. So I thought that was a pretty good price for $30. $40 is a little bit much, but I just didn't want to go looking for a dress when that time comes. Um, and Topshop is actually a store that does not do price adjustment if you bought it within four days. So just to let you guys know that. But yeah, I super, super love this. So this is the top drop, top drop, top shop dress and it is really fitting very well. I was going to say it's very form fitting. And I got this in a petite because I knew that the leg part would be a lot longer. So the petite worked very well for me because, you know, I'm really short and everything fits really well. I'm surprised. I super like the dress. It was very affordable, I think, for... Um, top shop and what I can wear it for so there's like these clear thing like you saw I mean I wear my bra but it's probably best to wear those um, what's that called the bra that just stick on you <laughs> so yeah and I super like the back oh it's adhesive bra that's what it's called adhesive bra like the color combo there's one that's just lighter pink it fits very well. Like I, it's not so tight where um, it's uncomfortable. It's like super comfortable and super movable. I think it's very smart that they had this part because if you're moving around a lot, um, if the lace isn't gonna rip. So that's pretty awesome. The next one from Topshop is this skirt. It's kind of like a corduroy skirt and it's like a midi it comes down to my knee and I wear it kind of high like to my my above my belly um at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it I just wanted to buy it just in case and I super love this let me see if the tag is on it I think I got this for 35 and I can't remember the original but I'll do a price thing right here or on, on the side of how much the original was but I really like this just because I don't know. I tend to gear towards things that I can wear for work now just because in my line of work is quite, um, you have to dress very professional when you're talking to businesses. So I feel like I could wear this and I could dress it up or down and I just really like it. I'm starting to really like midi skirt just because I feel like there's more business attire than wearing something like a shirt skirt, like going out to your friends, that's something totally different. So I really, really, really like this and there's pockets too. I don't think I'm going to be using it just because it's so high. But I'll talk about it more when I'm wearing it. So that's what I got from Topshop also. Um, and the last thing that I got from Topshop, which was the cheapest thing out of all the Topshop stuff that I got, was this skirt. And it's a long skirt. It's called like a wrap skirt. And I didn't think it would fit me. I didn't know. And I didn't think I need another one. The other one that I have similar to this was from Forever 21. And it was like a high-low. And for high-low, you can't really wear that out to work. And you can't wear it a lot. And a lot of times, you can't wear the high-low casually. Where this one, I feel like you can dress it up and dress it down. And I actually wore this to go shopping. Um, I super love it. It's super form-fitting. It's another reason why I really like it. And it's just... 
I know that I can dress this up also and I feel like it will last a really long time. This was originally over 35 or something like that and I got it for 15. So that's actually really good. And even though I'm short, this fits really well. So, and I just love the quality and I know it'd be easy to wash. So I really, really like it. So after I bought all these three things that it fits so well that I wanted to buy more stuff from Topshop just because they're quite different, but simple at the same time if you're selecting certain kind of pieces. So I really love the quality of this skirt and I feel like I would wear it for a really, really long time. So I bought all these sizes in the size 2, which is actually quite, quite kind of small. I feel like a 4 would be more comfortable in some of these, but they're all very, very form-fitting kind of stuff. So 2 and 4 are like my size for Topshop. And I probably go to a 6 because sometimes I like things like super loose on me. So yeah, so those are the things I got from Topshop. Um, next, I want to talk about All Saints. I was actually going to purchase stuff from, what's that called, store called, Reese, but I just, I did not like the employee and it seemed like they didn't want to help me, so I just, I didn't buy anything from Reese, which is actually pretty good just because Reese is a lot more expensive than All Saints, although All Saints is quite expensive as well, but I've been on this thing where I kind of want to buy like more stuff that I would keep longer. So anyways, the first thing that I got was this dress. And I thought it was quite nice. It's kind of like wrinkly right now. But this dress was 268 Okay, that's kind of bizarre. Um, and I got a US 0 and a UK size 4. And I super like it because there's this like little thing on the side. And I really like that because when you wear it on, it's quite sophisticated. Um, you could... I could actually wear this to church. <laughs> um, you can wear it to church, you can wear it to work, and I was trying to think along the line of, oh, could I also wear this to work? It's quite a, it's kind of long. It goes like a little bit above my knee maybe, but I like the look of it, especially if you wear it with heels and you just have nice makeup or maybe jewelry. I don't know, it's a really plain dress, but I really like it just because it's very plain, but it has some detail to it, like this little thing right here and the slit on the side. And so I just, I don't know, I just thought I could wear that to a wedding because, you know, you don't want to really upscale the bride or anything like that or into work just because it's professional and it's just very, I don't know, very simple, plain dress. So, oh yeah, so I know I said it was 268 It got marked down a lot in the end. This was $20. It was, I saw that it was like marked down from like 70 and 100 something. And then the last price it was 40 but it was like 50% off the sell price on the certain rack so that's why I got it for 20 so I thought that was pretty good because like in Forever 21 this probably be a little bit more than 40 and the quality isn't as good where this one I know that it is because um, I was looking at the fabric care etc etc but yeah so there's this one that it shows really the index of what I'm wearing a lot because of the fabric like you could totally tell what kind of undies I'm wearing and you just have to be really cautious of when I, or I have to be cautious of when I'm wearing this dress. I feel that it's like, with the right undergarment, it can look really elegant um, and very simple. More sophisticated, probably. It's really better in heels. Um, yeah, I super love this little cape thing over here that's hanging out. I really like that little detail. It's definitely not a dancing dress because you can't really move your leg too much. But yeah, and it's an interesting slit right here. It kind of looks like a trash bag if you just, not a trash bag, but like a bag if you just see this portion. But all the small detail makes it really simple and sophisticated, so I really like that. Just gotta really be cautious of what I'm wearing underneath because it shows the line to everything because of fabric. So yeah, I wear different kind of undies. Really like the most is actually this kind of vest like thing on uh, overcoat and it was something that I wanted from Reese and Reese was way I was willing to purchase it for 300 something because I really liked it and I don't know I've been wanting something that would make me look more professional when I'm going out to businesses uh, but without having too much to wear because it's quite 
hot in LA. Right now it's just kind of cold, but generally it's hot. And I really wanted this because it's just easier to put over something and make it look a little bit more professional. So I'm so happy I found this. It was the last one. They said generally the last item is 50% off the price. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so anyways, um, this was 468 which is technically the price of the Reese one also. That's the original price of the Reese jacket. It's similar. The other one was gray. This one's more like tan. Um, in the end, it got marked down to 150 and then I bought it for 75 So I thought it was really good. And it's the last one in my size. This is a U.S. size 4, um, which is the two size that I can wear. So I super love this. This is something that you have to dry clean, I believe. But the quality is really, really good. And it will last a really long time. So I, this is one of my favorite items. So I really like that. Um, and then the last thing I got from All Saints was this belt. And it looks like that. This is the medium large, which generally in belts I get a small just because, you know, I'm small. But um, this, look how small this is. It's like, it's not that, it's big. I don't know why it's considered medium large because I think the belt is me meant to wear higher. So that's why a small, you can only wear it like right around like right here, your waist above your ribs area. But I like it if I could wear it a little bit lower as well. So I found that, whoa. I found out that this size was perfect for me. Um, I wasn't really looking for a belt, but it was just so inexpensive. It's $10. That is cheaper than Target. So I got it because I do wear a belt like this. And this was $140. Who's going to buy a belt for $140? But this is $140. And in the end, it got marked down to $10. So I got it because it was $10 and I know I'm going to wear it someday. And I wear a lot of belts in general. So I got this for $10 from All Saints. Okay, so now we'll go to Madewell. I purchased this around December. So I bought another belt, which is this one right here. I put it behind this uh, skirt. So basically, it's kind of just a basic belt, black belt, and I have one of this before, and you might have seen it in my video, but I got it like a little brown one, kind of, and sometimes I'm wearing my clothes, and I was like, oh, I wish I had a black one, so I bought a black one. I forgot how much this was, but it wasn't that much because it was in the sale section. Um, the other thing I got is, so from Mabel, I got this, and I think I got it for like... 15, yeah, it was 50% off this, so I got it for around $15, and it's a jumpsuit. I have so many black jumpsuit. You don't know how many black jumpsuit I have, and I wasn't going to get this one just because I was like, I don't really wear the other jumpsuit, but it's because I can't. But I really like this one because the other one is like a t-shirt, black t-shirt, and that was actually from Topshop jumpsuit but I can't I don't feel like I can wear a jumpsuit that is t-shirt to work but this one I feel like I can because it's quite long and I could really wear it in the summer also just because it's very thin and super light it fit very well so for $15 I felt like I couldn't go wrong and I really like black jumpsuit for some reason but yeah I super like that you can wear it with heels although I don't know if I'm gonna wear heels to work with it but it looks really really nice and it's really form-fitting so I super like that and this one I wore a ton already so it. but this one it fit with a lot of kind of stuff like it'll fit with a black skirt it fit with your jeans it fit with leggings it just it's so versatile that I didn't think it was going to be that versatile I bought it just because I felt like I needed a turtleneck and it was getting cold but this is one of my favorite items of all of the Madewell stuff that I purchased so I got this and luckily I got this one because I was considering a red one but I didn't get the red one just because I think I didn't like the stripe on it it was like a lot closer together so it's like a lot more lines and yeah so I got this one I super 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 love this one um, so the other turtleneck I got was this one which is kind of wool a wool like type but it's very like soft 
and comfy and it's huge. It's not huge, but it's like extra small, but it's, it's huge on me, so it's meant to be a little bit bulkier. I like it for the fact that this is the only thing I need to wear when I go outside. I work to church by itself and it was really warm. I didn't have to wear anything else underneath it, so I really like that I didn't have to wear a jacket with it. Uh, the lighting's kind of strange because on camera, it looks more like a red, but in real life, it's actually like a dark burgundy color. So it's long in the back and short in the front. Well, I kind of took this in, so this is what I, I don't know, how I wear it. And um, so the turtleneck, you can do it whichever way you like. But I have it just like this, just because, I don't know, that's how I wore it. Um, I like that it's very fitted to the sleeve. And then it's just loose right here for bagginess purpose and comfortability. Yep. Okay, so the last thing from Maywell is this. And I, okay, I like plaid, plain t-shirt, and stripes a lot. So you, you're going to see a trend because that's the items that I generally would keep. So this is from Maywell also. And this is an extra small. It's more like a bulky PJ looking like shirt i guess but if you wear it with jeans i feel like it's fine so yep and i wore it for like with my moto pants too it really depends on how you wear it but i also you can wear it to lounge around so it's one of the reasons why i wanted to keep it just because i don't know i felt like it was really soft and comfy and it was a really heavy material for a plaid generally because it's i don't know it's a lot thicker than a regular plaid t-shirt so I got this one. This was like around 30 or something for Madewell. Generally it was like, I think over 80. I can't remember the full price of it. Okay, so now on to Anthropology. I went to Anthropology. Okay, so I ordered something from Madewell and it was like a corduroy pants. And I I remember I did like it and then I didn't like it and then I did like it and then I didn't like it. So anyways, I got a black corduroy pants and I did like it because I wanted a corduroy Pants. Ah, that is hard to say, corduroy. Um, but then I realized that every time I wore it, like I would put it on, it's like, I don't know what I can style this with, I don't know. So it feels like I didn't really like it. And then I have this like Citizen for Humanities pants and I wear it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's in any of my videos right now, but I like that type of fabric a lot more and it's very similar to corduroy. It's more like suede than corduroy, but it's not exactly suede. So, I generally wear black pants a lot because you can wear black pants a lot to work. And it doesn't have to be slack, so long that it's black, it looks very sleek and professional. So I got this pants and I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll do it up close later. But I really like the type of it, it's so smooth, it fits so much better and it was exactly the same price. So the Maywell, I got it for 41 and this came out to be 45 And this is Pilcro from Anthropology. this is their brand. Um, so I super like it. I wanted to wear it today, but then I was doing a video, so I couldn't. But anyway, so I got it for 45 and I thought that was actually really good for this pants because the one that it has similar, even though the Citizen of Humanities is better fitting and I, I could feel a difference in the jeans. And the other one was a little bit more, but for this price and for the quality of this Pants, I really like it. Originally, this is $98, got marked down to $69, 40% off. That was 40 something. So, yep, I got this regular black pants from Anthropology. And as you can see, it fits quite well. So, I super like it. Um, and I can move a lot. So, yeah. This is what the pants look like on. Okay, okay. And then the last thing I got is. It's a bra, it's okay, but it's like a sports bra. And this is from Lululemon. I got it for, I think, $30. Yeah. And I really like the cut of it. I'm not going to try this one on for you just because it's like a sports bra. But I like the cut of it a lot because a lot of bras, if you have like a small chest and you wear sports bra, it basically like, you know, it just like pushes back and it just looks kind of funny, really. Like you don't have any breasts. But this one I really like because there is a cut, it doesn't make it look so funny. So it's not like I'm going to be wearing this sports bra by itself because it looks like you're naked. But sometimes if I'm working out by myself at home or something, I would wear it. 
But I super like this sports bra just because I really like the cut of it. I like the thick band under it, so it looks like there's more that you're wearing than just a bra. So I super, super like it. And it was quite easy to get into because of like the adjustableness or the stretchy fabric right here. Generally, sports bra are stretchy anyways, but you guys know that sports bra are really hard to get into when you don't have that clasp, the new thing that they invented where you can, you know, like a regular bar, you can clasp here or like in the front. But ones that aren't like that, it's really hard to get into that is your size. Like, you get a bigger one, but then it just won't fit. <laughs> so I just really, really like this one. And it's a splurge, $30 for a sports bra is technically a lot. But a lot of the Lululemon items that I purchase, I wear a lot and I feel like I can get more use out of it, whereas like other ones. So yep, this is my last one for the haul. So I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys want to see more videos like this or hauls, um, let me know down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ding,